What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol, and this was a 12-rounder for the WBA Light Heavyweight World Championship, and this fight was Saturday, May 7th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this fight was broadcasted on DAZN, and in this fight, Canelo Alvarez got upset, and Dimitri Bivol ended his unbeaten streak as he retains his WBA Light Heavyweight World title. So, I mean, the three judges scored this bout, 115-113, all in favor of Dimitri Bivol. It was a unanimous decision, and a clear one. Canelo, in my opinion, got dominated. I scored at 117-111 for Bivol. I was watching this fight with my dad. He scored at 116-112 for Bivol. So, I mean, I thought it was anywhere from 8-4 to 9-3 for Bivol. 115-113 is a bit of a stretch. I honestly think the judges had it a little bit too close. Um, and just to break down this fight... I mean, the first four rounds were really the only close rounds of this fight. After four, I had a 38-38 even. Round, the only rounds I gave to Canelo were round two, four, and nine. Every other round was to be full. So just to break it down, the first four rounds were competitive. Canelo was much more active in those rounds, trying to come forward. But Bevel, he was jabbing. Um, he was really keeping Canelo off him and just really getting through that guard and really making the fight competitive. And after those first four Canelo looked a bit more fatigued, and Bevel was just jabbing him, outworking him, and, I mean, by the end of the fight, Bevel landed over, like, 50 more punches than Canelo, and, I mean, since when have we seen someone land more than Canelo? I mean, it was just a crazy win for Bevel, and, um, yeah, just to further break down those middle rounds, Bevel was, I mean, Canelo just looked defeated, I mean, he was really just backed up on the ropes, had his hands down, trying to play rope-a-dope, I mean, Canelo just does not know what to do, when someone is walking him down. And I did forget to mention that Bevel ate um, Canelo shots like it was Sunday dinner. I mean, he was eating it like nothing. I mean, he was literally taking them, and he was no change in facial expression. He was eating big Canelo uppercuts like the ones where you even hear Canelo loaded up like a tennis player hitting um, the ball with the racket. I mean, it was just Canelo was really exerting himself. And, I mean, you got to see that in the earlier rounds. Canelo was really trying to stop and even hurt Bevel, but Bevel was taking it. And it led to Canelo really gassing. I mean, he looked super tired by round 12. I mean, he was throwing arm punches. I mean, round 9, I gave to Canelo because Canelo la or landed and threw more punches than Bevel in round 9, obviously. And um, it seemed like a, a sort of off round for Bevel, like he just took it off because he knew he was dead ahead in the fight. And, um... Yeah, I mean, really, Bevel dominated Canelo in those middle to late rounds. Specifically, the last two rounds, Canelo was just trying to play rope with up. He didn't know what to do when Bevel was coming forward. He would try to use head movement, but, I mean, Canelo wasn't even trying to land counters. I mean, and the reach was just too much. I mean, it was overall just really too much for Canelo to handle. The big, strong, powerful boxer in Bevel really tamed Canelo in this fight, and he won easily. So, I mean, comment down below your scorecard for this fight, your thoughts on this fight, and that goes into the question, what is next for Dimitri Bivol defending his WBA title? Okay, so this is a big thing for both fighters. Both fighters, I mean, I'm sure there was a rematch clause. Maybe there wasn't. But um, the big main options for Bivol is, well, for Bivol and Canelo, it's a rematch. Since this fight was such a big upset, there could definitely be a rematch. However, for Bivol, I mean... Considering that he won this fight and it was a very, very big win, he could take on someone in the likes of, like, the winner of Better BF versus Joe Smith for, like, a, yeah, big um, unification, undisputed title clash, actually, at 175, um, the winner of that fight. But, um, I mean, otherwise, he could have a rematch, obviously, with Canelo. But as for Canelo Alvarez, I mean, he is still the undisputed super middleweight champion. You gotta remember, this was a weight class up. So, um... Obviously, as I mentioned before, he could have a rematch with can or he could have a rematch with Bevel, or he could maybe even take on Triple G. Even though it was initiated that if he beats Bevel, it would be a trilogy with Triple G. But I mean, still, that's an option. He could obviously take on Charlo, Triple G, whoever. But I mean, still, he's the undisputed champion at one sixty eight. We have to remember that. And um, Bevel, I mean, he could definitely rematch with Canelo, and obviously Canelo could get that get that rematch as well. So yeah, I mean, this was a big upset, and overall. Um, Dimitri Bevel upsets and defeats Canelo Alvarez, winning by unanimous decision to retain his WBA light heavyweight world title and to snap Canelo's long reigning unbeaten streak. Um, and in that unbeaten streak, Canelo was w was able to win multiple world titles, and Bevel just snapped it right here. And to get the truly it, I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.